Beaters. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I got a little surprise in my mailbox a couple days ago. I didn't realize I'd be getting another Jesse James Magical Mystery bead box to open, but here we are. So this would be for August 2019. I will, as usual, leave the link to their website down below if you're curious about their subscription options and also you can check out their store. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this one. As usual, I have no idea what the theme is or anything, so we will take a little peek together and find out. All right, so here's what our box looks like inside. Let's see what our card says. Late summer romance, nice, isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. So let's see what the back says. This is our list of the contents that are included, a loose little outline there. We have a coupon included. Always love the artwork that they do. And then our pink crinkles inside. And then this is what everything looks like all packaged up. So what we're gonna do as usual is we're going to go through everything one by one so you can get a close up look on what's inside the box. All right, so here's a quick little peek at the card again. I'm all about this color palette. They do a great job putting their colors and themes together. So for those that are new to my channel or new to the subscription, this isn't one that I personally subscribe to, but from time to time they send it to me, which is really nice of them. And it's a lot of fun to unbox, that's for sure. It's got a lot of really interesting bead mixes. It's great for those of you who are bead stringers. And also, especially for those of you who like fun, funky, different types of things, you know, maybe conversation pieces. And if you check out my past unboxings, you'll know what I mean and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So the first thing we're gonna go through is called the Summer of Love Design Elements Bead Mix featuring Swarovski. And that is this mix right here. So this is what I'm talking about. If you like going through mixes like this, you definitely like their boxes. So let's go ahead and pop this open and we'll go through the top baggie and see what's inside. I'm seeing some very sparkly items in here, some metal components. And these are lovely. So this is everything that was included in that top little bag. I love these little metal components and these are sparkling really nice. These are actually metal back here too. This is the look at the back and then they've got the little rhinestone in the center. We have some antique brass bead caps and these cute little flower shapes and then some toned down gold kind of floral shaped bead caps here. So off to a good start. I really like all these components and I think they go really well with the theme. So next, I'm going to pop open this larger bag that was underneath, and this one is chock full of stuff. As you can see, there's all kinds of things in here. So let's separate them out and take a closer look at what exactly is in here. All right, so here's everything all separated out from that bag, and I'm really impressed with how many glass beads they're sending. Here are some adorable little leaves. You guys know I love these, and look at how they almost look a little bit purple as well. Those are very nice. It always looks like even more in there when you separate these things out from the assortments, I find. So here's some more glass. These are gorgeous with the deep purple inside of the clear. These two right here remind me of berries, and then we've got some glass crackle beads right there. Here is another little handful, and I think it's funny. We're doing this late summer romance theme, and if you can hear, you hear the piano music? Yes, that's piano music randomly playing above my head. That's actually my dad, little plug for him. Anyway, so these are some pink textured beads here. Very glossy, there's a look at the side. Then we have some iridescent round beads in this light pink, have a little bit of a gold luster on them. We have these little teardrops that have a little bit of a metallic finish on them. Here is another handful. We have these cute baby blue glass beads, some lavender rondelles, and then some of these amber colored numbers with the sparkly texture there you can see as I'm moving them around. And then these larger light golden color beads, we have these cone shapes and then these faceted ovals that are lovely. And besides that, we just had a couple other of these light colored rondelles. But again, just looking at my bead mat, I really can appreciate all the colors that they put together. I think it was well done how they pulled in the dusty blues and pinks with pops of richer royal purples, magenta, and gold. So well done again on that so far. The next little bag we have to go through is called Love Potion Number no. 9 Design Elements Bead Mix. That is this bag right here, and you can see we have some more fun things to go through. So let's take a look. 
I am all about these unique glass beads that they're sending. Look at these. They are stunning. They're table cut and they look like stone on the outer edges. And then inside, of course, you have the flat white right there. They kind of remind me of almond slices. There's another peek at what the side looks like. Those are gorgeous. And talk about gorgeous, I'm also loving these faceted drops. Wow, they catch the light so beautifully. Look at the little flashes of color in there, kind of like opal does. So you already know I love these. I'm going to make some earrings with these right away. And then next we have these adorable hearts. How cute are these? So there's the side look on those and then their table cut as well. The flat front and back, the flower etched in there, so sweet. And then the holes are right there at the top adorable. Next we have our more funky items, our more whimsical items. These are gorgeous. They remind me of little ballerinas. We do have some glue there popping up at the top, so you probably want to cover that up, perhaps with some beading or ribbon or some other kind of bead cap or something. But the bottoms of these are very pretty. It's a blush, peachy pink, and you have this flower petal effect down here. Then we have a couple of these little glass globes that we've gotten before. These are filled with some pastel yellow stars that kind of turn pinkish or peachy when the light hits them. And then we have a couple of these really chunky polymer style beads here with a periwinkle background and some metallic embellishments in two different shades of gold. Next up we have a tassel assortment and that is this bag right here. So again following that same color scheme with the light pink, plum, the dusty blue, and the gold. And here they are all lined up in my hand. We have these little floral ones right here. I've made some cute earrings with this style before and then some more minimalist suede cord tassels we have the blue and white mix there we have this taupe dark golden color again you can see a little bit of the glue there so you might want to just pop those under some other bead caps and then we have this gorgeous plum color right here all right next up we have another mix this is called the summer love mini mix featuring Swarovski crystals and I am all about these little Swarovski crystal mixes that they send. I always love adding these to my collection because Swarovski is such great quality and it's a nice way to get all different shapes and colors. These are really interesting, these little hexagons. And then we have these little faceted barrel shapes right here that are kind of in an antique dark gold. And then some Swarovski bicones in plum and light pink. And then a smoky quartz type of color there. I tried to separate them out, but you get the idea so that is our little mix there next up we're looking for the summer romance shorty bead strand and this caught my eye right away this was something that i was drawn to as soon as i took it out i love all the colors on this strand it really does look very romantic with these floral glass beads the color palette the light pink the light blue the lavender and the metallics these are beads that i would separate off the strand and use them in different projects that's just me personally you could of course use them together to incorporate in your own project depending on what your style is and as you can see it not only contains the beads but you also get some little metal components here's some little small beads in here some polymer discs right there that you can barely see some bead caps as well so they're always really interesting to look at these strands by the way last month was completely different it was a Lion King theme they do a great job on their themes and they do change them up quite frequently to the point where they're very very different. So if this isn't particularly your color palette or favorite theme, it's not going to look just like this every single month. All right, the next bag contains a pair of clasps and that is this bag right here. So it looks like we have something in a silver tone and something in a gold tone. And here's a close look at these. These are very nice as well. We have the toned down gold set right here. It looks very regal. Lots of details going on there. And this is our silver set. Here is a look at the back of the silver one and the back of the gold one so you can see that they are double-sided which is always a nice feature so you don't have to worry about what side is what and great that we're getting both silver and gold tone components because there are a lot of silver and gold tone components in the rest of the box next up is our chain reaction we actually have three packages of it in this box I'm always happy to receive the chain reaction because as I've shared before and as they advertise it you can actually take these apart and use the components separately or together so you can actually take these beads off 
and use them separately as components and other things. You can, of course, leave these together just like they have them and then pop on other beads or findings of your choice or just use the chain separately by taking the beads off and just using the metal pieces. So they're very versatile and I do believe these run like five to eight dollars each on their website. So I personally find that it's a nice value when they include multiples of these in their boxes. All right, next on the list, it says metal floral charms and I'm looking all over my desk and all over around me and it's quite possible that I've dropped them. I'm having a really, really off day to be completely honest. So if I do find them, I will pop them back in here. I'm really sorry about that if I missed it. If not, if you happen to be in a situation where you find that something's missing, I know their customer service is really good. So if you contact them, I'm sure they would make it right. So that's not something I would be worried about. And this is the first time that's happened. But anyway, besides that, I have someone else down here staring at me that you'll see in just a second. It's the Romantic Whisper Earrings Kit. So these are always really cool because you can then go on their website and then find the specific instructions on how to put these together. And they've been including these kits lately, which I think is a great feature and value for the box. So this is what I'm talking about here. We have this guy sitting on his horse, living his best life with his damsel down here. But most importantly, what's included, they are called Romantic Whisper Earrings. And as you can see, we have these little wooden components right here that are in a beautiful design. We even have this chain, which is quite possibly some of the most beautiful chain I've ever seen. It is light pink, but also gold. And I've seen colored chain before, but not a two-tone with a metallic in it as well. I think that's beautiful. I might have to get my hands on some more in other colors. We also have some of these acrylic rose components. You can see that they're gonna be post earrings and our little antique brass or bronze birds. So if their instructions are up currently on their site, I will try to pop these together for you and show you what this project looks Looks like. If not, later I'll follow up with a little photo on my Facebook post when I go to post and share when this video gets uploaded. All right, guys, so that is everything for the August 2019 Jesse James Bead Box, the late summer romance theme. I think they did a wonderful job on their curation of the colors and all the components they put together for this theme. It is beautiful. I think they have really been stepping up their boxes personally. That's just my opinion. I feel like there are less plastic and acrylic components and tassels and things like that, and a lot more glass, a lot more metal components. The price point on this one, it starts at around $33 per month and goes up from there depending on how long you sign up for. And again, I'll leave the link down below if you're interested in signing up. And you can see why I say that this box is probably more geared towards you bead stringers as opposed to bead weavers. Of course, you could do weaving with certain components here as well. I certainly have, but I'm just talking in general. And in general, historically, the Jesse James boxes have been more geared toward those who love more eclectic, whimsical, artistic conversation piece type component. So if that's something you're into, you're probably even more drawn to this box. Once again, I'm not here to sell you a box or anything like that. I just love to share these unboxings with you guys to give you an opportunity to see if it speaks to you, if this is the right type of subscription for you and only you can answer that. But hopefully this helped you out a little bit your decision-making process or other than that it was just plain fun to watch and as usual you can buy more of these similar components on their website as well if you aren't interested in the subscription so if you like what you see here feel free to do that i want to thank you guys again for being with me for another fun unboxing and thanks again to jesse james beads and the team there for sending me another box to share with you guys as usual when i use any of these beads and components i will be sure to show them in future finished jewelry update videos and i hope to be back soon with more unboxings, tutorials, and the like. So feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have a favorite item here that you saw today and what you thought about the theme in the box because I'm sure they'd love to hear your feedback as well. And other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, happy beating. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidnoble.com. Thanks for watching.